Now that we got the frame on the bolts and floating it on, we're going to just kind of snug up the, the nuts on the bolts to give a little freedom. And over on this side here, we've got a square lined up with that building line, making sure that this frame square with it. Once it's in position, go ahead and tighten her down, snug her up, and you're ready to go. Okay, now that we got the legs up, they're all girded and braced, we'll do a little quick walkthrough on this here. So if I come up to uh, the side girts here, along with the bottom cord brace, uh, we can see that we got it in the center on the clip, and uh, we got the two screws on each clip. Uh, we got the bolt through the bottom cord, and then we got the two screws through the hole that's holding the bottom cord brace to the girt. Uh, the order we normally do this is, is the top girt uh, to hold your spacings correctly with one screw on the inside up against the frame, then we fill in the rest uh, with just the one screw so then we can put that bottom cord brace on and then uh, it gives us the flexibility to twist it to make it look straight uh, in line with the leg across from it and then after you get that twist out and get that bottom cord brace screwed you can go back and double it. And now for the wind brace rods, what we do is we'll just throw the setup in the correct bay and leave them loose to get both rods in and give us the flexibility there to make sure they, they do fit. Let me throw the level on the leg and level it up, find out which way we got to tighten it to pull it straight, make sure they're both snug when level. And here's a little close up of how the, uh, the clip will sit on there to kind of give you a 90 degree flush uh, surface to put that washer and nut on the end of that uh, wind brace rod.